In the 19th century, a brilliant dawn of restoration broke upon the world, and the gospel of Christ, full and complete, was once again upon the earth. This glorious day began when, in a pillar of light above the brightness of the sun, God the Father and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, visited young Joseph Smith and initiated what would become a virtual flood of revelation linked with divine power and authority. When President Monson was called as a prophet, I knew logically that he was the prophet, but I didn't have a witness until I heard him speak in conference. As he spoke and gave different messages, I, I felt the Spirit tell me that he was the prophet. About two years ago, um, my husband got laid off from his job after being on the job for 10 years. It was kind of a, a scary thing, but one thing that we knew was we were okay because we had followed the counsel of the prophet and we had gotten ourselves debt free and we had up a, a great food storage and so we didn't have any fear. The prophet for a day is not only for the church, it's for the whole world. And I believe that God speaks to him and he in turn speaks to us and let us know the mind and the will of God. Like all that comes from God, this doctrine is pure. It is clear, it is easy to understand, even for a child. I feel the spirit and it's very calm. I know the prophet is uh, a prophet of God and that he speaks the truth. I feel something in my heart that says that he is the right person to be the leader of this church. I remember when I was listening to the missionaries, we were taught about how God speaks to prophets, how you can tell between a true and a false prophet. One of the things that I do is just go on my knees and pray. The fundamental principles of our religion are the testimony of the apostles and prophets concerning Jesus Christ, that he died, was buried, and rose again the third day and ascended into heaven. And all other things which pertain to our religion are only appendages to it.